Hi everybody, I'm Rick Beato. Today's Everything Music, we're going to talk about a mode from the melodic minor scale called Locrian Natural 2. You've heard me speak of it in some of my videos where I'm discussing scales that you can play over half diminished chords because that's what it's played over. Um, but it is a particular sound that is really, uh, me, to me, very beautiful over half diminished chords. A lot of people struggle with the sound over, over minor 7 flat 5s, same, same thing as a half diminished chord, because they hear the Locrian mode and they don't know what to do with it. They will play scalar lines over it, or maybe they'll play a Phrygian major scale over the entire progressions. Now that kind of works okay on the A7 chord. Actually, it works really well over the A7 chord because it gives you the... It really gives you the sound of the A7 flat 9. It has a sus4, almost has a Spanish feel to it. But that gives the sound of the chord. But it doesn't really sound quite... Um, doesn't really sound right over that half diminished chord, so we kind of need a scale to go with that. Now one choice is the low green mode, which would be, in that case, come from F major, E low green would be the seventh mode of F major. But the real scale choice that I prefer is the low green natural two. And it sounds like this. And it sounds like this. Beautiful, beautiful sound. So what am I doing there? I started out by going up a G minor arpeggio right here and I did I'm playing vertically here. I, I know where those notes are in G minor. Once I go once I leave this position, then I go up to here to the third, to the fifth, to the uh, root again. That's if you look at an E minor 7 flat 5 chord right here, you have a G minor chord. E minor 7 flat 5 is really G minor over E. That's why that G minor chord, uh, arpeggio sounds great on it. And then I go to that note. That note is your natural 2. Low green would have flat 2, not cool. I like Locrian. I'm just joking about that. But I, in uh, over when you're improvising over it, that's that that having a half step between the the uh, second and the third, the flat third, is really a great, great sound. And when you hear that note, that F sharp on this chord, beautiful. So there are other things that you can do from the scale as we've talked about in all these scales. You can take the triads out of the scale, uh, all the triads that would come out of the parent melodic minor scale. So Locrian Natural 2 is the sixth mode of the melodic minor scale. So that's actually coming out of G melodic minor. So I'll play it with G melodic minor scale so you can hear what the sound is. Beautiful. So a good thing to do uh, with a scale like this is take a few different triads from it. Instead of going through and doing the thing that I normally do where I say, okay, you're going to play E diminished, play F sharp diminished, play F sharp augmented, play G minor, uh, play A minor, uh, play B flat augmented. Instead of going through all those, let's just pick a few different 
uh, triads from that scale. So I'm going to take just G minor, C major, and D major. I'm going to just pick three from the scale. Those three triads are within that G melodic minor scale. And I'm just going to play around with those. So you've got your G minor scale. Three simple ideas are the first idea that I played came right out of that. So I started right up a G minor G minor arpeggio. And then D major. C major. C major. I'm going back and forth between D and C major there. So this is D major, C major, D major, C major, G minor. And I went down D major here, I went. So I'm simply taking three triads out of there. I'm taking the one based off of the uh, parent minor melodic minor scale. So if you're in on E half diminished, I'm taking G minor, which is based off the third, which gives me the minor third of the of the E minor seven flat five, the flat five, and the flat seven. Then I take the D major triad, which gives me the natural nine, which is really the sound of that mode. It gives me the 11, and gives me the flat 7, and then I take C major, which gives me the flat 6, the root, and the flat 3rd, okay? So just those three triads, if I improvise around in those, will give me the sound of the chord and, and really give you some beautiful, beautiful ideas. Once again. That's G minor, right? Then D major. C major, D major. G minor. Great spot to use. string skipping, C at 9, G minor major 7. So, so I simply took three triads from the low green natural 2 scale. So I took the minor triad built off the flat 3rd of the half diminished chord, the major triad built off the flat 7 of the half diminished chord, and the major triad built off the flat six. So here's your my E half diminished chord. I took the minor triad off the flat third, G. I took the major triad uh, built off the off the uh, flat seven, and then I took the major triad uh, built off the flat six. Just those three chords, that little formula there will give you a lot of great ideas so you never have any question on what to play over half diminished chord. That's all for now. Please subscribe to my Everything Music YouTube channel here. And if you're interested in the Beato book or Skype lessons, you can write me at rickbeato1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.